Hello, everyone. Uh, I wanted to get on here real quick to tell you how sorry I am that I couldn't do that, pick that giveaway tonight, but I wasn't sure that I would get back in time uh, to choose the winner. But um, I did, and congratulations to Christian Ortiz. Um, I am keeping this bucket because these are my subscribers. Uh, the good news is I have a few more subscribers and I want to thank them very much for taking the time to watch my videos. So I'm very thrilled about that. Um, I want to tell you that Charlie isn't here with me tonight and so if I'm a little off, that's why. Um, he's like my everything and I had a little bit of emotional here and there today, so I had to wait to get it together to come on and talk to you guys for a minute. Uh, but he will be back after I get a couple things medically done, checked out, he will be back. I am going to do next a very small Christmas wreath for a giveaway at the senior apartment that I'm living in. Um, I told her that I would donate it. I, I can't wait to do it with you guys because it's gonna be so beautiful. I chose the colors pink and silver and uh it, it's just going to be beautiful i'm really excited but i want to do it when charlie's back because i'm in much better spirits when i have my dog well it's my daughter's dog and my grandson's dog it's our dog but uh he really lifts my spirits he keeps me going as a matter of fact i cook almost every night you know a nice dinner it's just me and the dog and I always make like chicken or stew. I love to cook. And uh, the first night he hasn't been here in a while. And what did I eat? Blueberry waffles. I just stuck them in the, the uh, toaster. And so you see the kind of um, good things that he does for my spirit. He keeps me going. Okay, so um, I'm sending out the winner, the winners. Uh, for the two giveaways. Uh, they're all ready to go. So I will do that tomorrow after one of my doctor appointments. And then, uh, so that will, they will be on their way. I have one package, one that I got to package up. Um, the Christmas wreath that we did last night is stunning. I mean, way more beautiful than I thought. And I'm going to have to probably deliver it myself. I thought maybe I can get my brother, but I'm not so sure he's able to do it. So I would like for you to see that right now. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm so sorry about the crappy light here. It's terrible. But it turned out beautiful. So what I did was I added a few more Christmas balls on the side just to do a little fill in. And I put some felt on the back of the wreath because I didn't want it to scratch the wall, her door, I'm sorry, not the wall, her door. So it's, it's all the way around the wreath. Also, I remember when we did the uh, fall wreath for a customer, a small one. Well, I completed that. And like I said, this is not the best lighting. Uh, and I wasn't, something about it just, it just didn't strike me. Well, I, it's done and I'm sorry I don't have any light. They don't have any lights in here. They only have like the um, hall light and the, um, they don't have ceiling lights in here. It's a real pain in the neck. But what I did, because I just felt let me bring it out here so you can see it better. Okay. I just felt that it needed something. So I added that little pillow on the bottom that says Harvest Blessings with a pumpkin. I added a couple little golden uh, yellowish gems on there. And uh, right around the, the um, cotton, I added it on. There's some glue, sorry. And so I am satisfied now. I am going to give it to her tomorrow. So I'm thrilled with this one. Okay, and I'm getting ready. Like this is the Christmas wreath. We're gonna start when I get Charlie back home. I already sprayed it with the silver spray. 
Um, you can't really see it, but hold on one second. Don't look at my messy apartment. <laughs> hold on. Sorry about this, but I'm not on pause me, so I can't. Okay, um, this has a nice sparkle shine to it. You probably still can't see it. I'm trying to get it. But anyway, I sprayed it with that silver that I did the other wreath. And these are the Christmas balls ready to go. I can't wait to start it. So there's that. Um, and this is our little sign that I posted for today that I made with my Dollar Tree uh, picture frame. Try to be positive in, negative, in a negative situation. So that's our saying for today. Uh, and let me go back and sit down. So um, <clears throat> anyway, those are some of the updates. And I want you to know that I have another giveaway on the 15th of October. It's nothing big. It's a small giveaway that I'm going to do for an appreciation of my new subscribers. But I'm going to add the new ones in here. Just a little something that I'm going to give away on October 15th. I just want to make sure I write notes because the mem the old memory is going to, you know where. Um, I am going to, I have an, excuse me, a 12 by 18 inch picture frame that I got in Walmart. It was $3. I am, we are going to paint it together and I am going to do my very first freehand painting. So I have a picture for my wall in this dreary looking apartment. That is going to be something. Uh, so I hope you stick around to see me do that in a couple of weeks. I, I have to get my mind going on to what I'm going to do, what colors and uh, what I'm not gonna really, I don't think I'm gonna paint anything specific. I'm just gonna go for whatever. But um, that's gonna be fun. All right, so I told you about the small giveaway and that's about it for tonight. Thank you to my new subscribers. I'm sorry that I'm having these health issues. Totally out of my control. Believe me, I don't wanna deal with all this. But I, I love coming on here and I, I love doing the crafts with you. Crafting makes me so happy. Uh, giving them away makes me even happier. So stick with me. We're gonna get Charlie back. I miss him terribly. I can't even talk about him too much because I start crying. I checked on him a minute ago, my grandson. Uh, we FaceTime and Charlie's depressed. So um, that really makes me sad. But, um, you know, he has to learn to live there and be here in case something happens. You know what I mean? So, uh, oh, and there's Elaine, my friend Elaine's Christmas wreath. Is that beautiful? Is that beautiful? And I'm so glad that I added a touch of pink. It just is, really sends it off. It really, it really is. And I'm thrilled with the blue, the Christmas blue wreath. Anyway, that's it. I'm just going to stop blabbering away. So congratulations, Christian Ortiz. Congratulations, Kim. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.